So the new fear of God, essentials, hoodies, the structure. You know, this is no pun intended, but is this guy telling me to go ahead and have a seat like you really don't need any more hoodies? Now I say that to be facetious and it's all jokes and fun, but the hoodie, it is different. It's structured differently from the sleeves. The sizing looks definitely more oversized than what we already get. So if you're not familiar with Fear of God Essential Sizing, you should be at this point. But whenever you're picking up anything from the standard collections or what we're used to prior to right now with the brand new, the black collection, and I guess the fit moving forward, presumably, you would stay with your usual size in any other item, understanding it was going to fit a whole size bigger. So for example, for me to go true to size in let's say Nike or Adidas, I would typically buy a men's small. If I wanted an oversized fit in that same Nike or Adidas top, I would need to get a men's medium, which is what I do in a lot of different shirts. The shirt I'm wearing right now, it's a unisex or a men's medium. So it gives me that oversized aesthetic. It's exactly what I want. Fear of God Essentials gives you that by just buying whatever your true size would be. And then with some of the way the t-shirts have changed, I guess, over time, I can actually go down to an extra small and it still give me a really nice fit in the men's sizing. Women's is totally different and it certainly fits true to size so we're familiar with the sizing we know it's oversized that's what you sign up for that's the aesthetic it looks as if if i were to buy a small right now i would look as if i bought like a traditional medium or maybe even a large now i personally will not buy anything just at this you know time right now for the brand new the black collection that dropped there are videos already out i know paul already posted that he will have something out very very soon on locust and wild honey and so you can head over there he always does really great comprehensive sizing videos and i think he did a he'll do a rundown of every single brand new piece from the black collection then that'll give you an idea you know do i want to go after this item do i want to wait for a restock global retailers did get items in so you can certainly check there though some of them sold out already i think like like the tank sold out on essence so some things have already sold out so they they flew i didn't know how they would do it's heading into summer hot all black collection but some of those items flew because again essentials they're essential they're staples in your closet your wardrobe that's great I am excited often now to reach back for essentials items because the things go on sale and I love not having to pay full price. Essence sales, you, you get me. I feel targeted sometimes, I won't lie. But this hoodie, okay, so I'll go ahead and link the video below because it was the first time I was able to truly see the, vid the hood itself, like this brand new structured hood. I'm actually not a fan of so again i'll link it below um sounds by philly i will again put it below so the title of the video essentials the core collection and if you fast forward to 410 in his video you get a look at the hood it looks like a kid's hood and that's i guess that's the hold up for me it looks like the size of a kid's hood and so i want a large oversized hood i want the hood to match the proportion of the hoodie itself <laughs> that's what i love about the hoodies that we have you know right now i know that i throw this hood on okay it's fully covering my head comfortably the hood that is amazing like beyond measure for other hoodies i have that have nothing to do with essentials the amamanir jordan hoodie that I have. I love, love, love the hood on that. And then also I have the Culture Kings, that hoodie that's like the half zip. Really love the hood on that as well. So clearly those are two hoodies that are staying in my closet clean out because I really appreciate the structure of them. But this is new direction, new structure on this hoodie. I'm not thrilled about it, so therefore I think I am going to refrain, at least for right now, on any of the hoodies. With the crew necks and the t-shirts, they appear to have th the thicker neckline. It's thick, okay? Put a whole lot of C's on the end of it because it is thick, 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 thick. That's not my favorite either so i love the branding of the essentials and then the fear of god under it the arch i love that 
I guess I'll be patient when it comes to uh, snatching up anything right now. I actually do hope that people keep the same energy they are appearing to show online. We know that people don't keep it though. For the Adidas, uh, the actual footwear that we're expected to see later on, like fall 2023 by Jerry and Adidas, I hope people keep that energy. Now there's more than enough clothing to always go around. So even if I were to change my mind down the line, like I'm not, you would still be able to get something, but I just don't care for the size of the hood. Do you feel that way? Go ahead and comment your thoughts below on first thoughts on the brand new structure of the hoodies. Do you love them? Are you for them? You're saying, hey, maybe I have enough essentials in my wardrobe right now. I don't need anything else. Goodness knows that's where I should be. Like at this point, I really shouldn't <laughs> buy any more hoodies. Uh, the crew necks are still very much so on my wish list in the brand new colorways that we have, whether it's plum, I would love a light Tuscan uh, crew neck as well. So maybe I'll shift to crew necks for a while with the new structure of the hoods. I know the pockets are different in terms of those hidden seams. That's really nice. Definitely a drop shoulder now. So comment your thoughts. Did you go for anything from the black collection? Taking your time, focusing on other things this summer. I really appreciate you tuning into any and all videos, especially the recent video on the Air Jordan 1 washed black. My thoughts and how I style that four different ways. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace. Why did I just hold up four fingers? Okay, peace.